I'm David Ferriero, the Archivist of the United States, and I'm here with Peter Wood, distinguished faculty member from Duke University who's written a new book near Andersonville about Winslow Homer and the Civil War. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. This is an honor to be here. You and I share a passion for Winslow Homer. He's our greatest sea painter, you know, the ocean in all its moods and, and sailors in all their travails, and he identified with them, was a good sailor himself. Okay spent his last 20 years living at Prout's Neck up in Maine, looking out over the ocean, uh, identified deeply with the sea. And you've focused uh, specifically in, in this book on a painting near Andersonville. It was in a private family collection in New Jersey, and it was brought down from the attic when the patriarch died in 1960. And the family gradually realized this, this was by a man named Homer, and this was the Winslow Homer, and they had this interesting painting on their hands, didn't know what to do with it or quite how it had gotten into the family. And I was able to do research back to an amazing woman named Sarah Kellogg, who went to the Sea Islands in South Carolina around Port Royal during the Civil War to teach liberated African-American slaves who were living on the Sea Islands growing cotton. So she actually was the first owner. And how do you think the painting came into Kellogg's hands? When she was in the Sea Islands, uh, the U.S. naval boat that was at Port Royal was called the Kingfisher. And who do we know who was on the Kingfisher? And who was on the Kingfisher but Winslow Homer's younger brother, Arthur, right? Not for very long. I've just been looking at the documents in your unbelievable archive, and it's quite clear there he is on board the Kingfisher. And some of these teachers actually would, on the weekends and things, would row out to the Kingfisher, fraternize with the, with the naval boys who were New England, fellow New Englanders. So it's conceivable that Homer knew of Kellogg, and Kellogg knew of Homer. He may very well have given her the picture personally or send it through an intermediary or she was certainly one of the few people who would have had the resources and the interest and understanding to say that's an amazing picture this is you know these are the strong black women that I've been working with in the sea islands and I want that picture on my wall but it took and, a long time to to actually find the real title of the painting in 1987, uh, the San Francisco Museums decided to do an exhibit on Homer in the Civil War, and they started digging, and they found a tiny little clipping in an old 1866 New York newspaper saying, there's a, some paintings on sale this week by a young man named Winslow Homer, and da-da-da-da-da. One of them, the most interesting, is of a woman at a cabin door called near Andersonville. And this was 1987. So the picture was made in 1866. So for, for more than 120 years, the title was lost. So once we knew that it was called Near Andersonville, then we could see what's going on in the painting. And one of the things that's going on is that there are Union soldiers who had been trying to liberate Andersonville prison, but they're captured, defeated by Wheeler's cavalry, and put in prison themselves. So from her perspective, the people who were coming to liberate her uh, have now been captured. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.